You don't normally think of a college campus as the location for an all-out fight for survival. Last week, students got dressed up, decked out, singing, fighting, in a game inspired by massively multiplayer online games. Let's take a moment and step into the world of Linden Realms, where humans and zombies fought for dominance over a new world. A human fights for his life as two zombies try to take him down. Socks were this human's weapon of choice in his fight for survival. In this game, players are identified by bandanas, humans a bandana on their arm, and zombies a bandana on their head. Besides that, the rules are simple. Humans vs. Zombies is a game of tag that involves nerf blasters, socks, and a lot of cardio. The name of the game is to ensure that the zombies get stunned so you don't get added to the horde. The other part of the game is if you're a zombie, you want to add the humans to the horde. Either way, it's a game of strategy that brings a lot of enthusiasm out of its players. It's teamwork, it helps build friendships, um, people who go outside. And that's something that, you know, unless you're an athlete, I, I think some people don't feel inclined to do. I traveled about an hour and 45 minutes uh, worth of driving, and I decided to drive that distance because I wanted to try this game for the first time. Humans vs. Zombies gets people outside and brings gaming into real life. It got me outside, considering I'm always inside in front of a screen, and this is a game that gave me a chance to be outside for about a week. It was fun. At the end of the week, after the zombie horde defeated all but one of the humans, they gathered in Evans Commons for one last get-together. People came dressed up in full makeup as their characters, even taking on the appearance of famous characters like Batman's nemesis, the Joker. The game draws a lot of creativity from its players and also allows people like Getty Avery to test out their leadership skills. My role this game was that of the horde leader. I made sure that every every zombie in the horde was working together and having fun. We fought together as one throughout the entire week. We came up with a lot of cool chants and we uh, did a lot of cool stuff. Um, my focus is usually just keeping everybody in it and keeping everyone having fun. That's what matters. Humans vs. Zombies does more than just get people outside. It allows for meeting people from other schools like SEMO and Webster. Lindenwood Humans vs. Zombies will be back in the fall of 2015. If you're interested in learning more or getting involved, you can go to LUHVZ.org. For LUTV News, I'm Devin Durbin.